Hello everybody, Sift here again, with another 20 minutes till dawn run. And today I'm gonna be playing Shana, can reroll upgrades once per level and bullet damage increases when you stand still, damage bones reset when you move with a crossbow specifically. Why? Because I want to do a, a, a one shot done build. Now obviously the green launcher does more, but it also can hit us, the explosion can hurt us, so we're gonna go with this. Now specifically we go on Darkness 3, because we're progressing, you know, at least have more HP. Let's go. Let's see how this is gonna go. Now, if I don't move, I do more damage. So, yep, I'm one-shotting people. That's pretty nice. 32 damage. And the moment I see enough XP gather around, I will uh, I will rush over there to pick it up. I think that is enough XP. I also have a couple of meta progressions. Uh, the most important one being that I start with the shield, which uh, I think is very powerful. And also the shield, instead of having a cooldown of two minutes, has a bit less. I think it's one minute and 35 seconds or one minute and 40 seconds or something like that. But that's not important. What is important is if I get the level that it's gonna make the shield down to one minute, then we're gonna be even better. In general, the shield upgrade is very powerful. Now, uh, what do I want to go with? First of all, we roll here. I want to go damage, damage, and again, damage. So let's reroll this. And here we go, our first damage upgrade. Bullet damage, knockback. This is also good, take aim. It's gonna make my bullet damage even further. And bullet speed is not really that important. That one technically kill low life opponents though is important. So let's go with this, bullet damage, knockback. Now specifically, Specifically, my build is gonna target this thing here, the um, this thing, the mini clip. Fun fire and fresh clip is what I care about. If I get these two, I will get double like 100% reload rate and also 50% bullet damage. And max ammo doesn't matter because I have one bullet in the clip anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's very important. I would also enjoy this for more projectiles because this has no downside in damage. It's one of the few ones that give you more projectiles without giving you this damage. Uh, yeah, let's go with mini clip first. So fun fire and uh, fresh clip. I need to look up what which upgrades those are. On fire and fresh clip. Although I'm pretty sure they are either in the reload speed, um, yeah, reload tree or in the um, damage tree. <laughs> so this is the reload tree, quick hands. Fresh clip is this, and well, this is fresh clip, so we go for this anyway. And uh, reload speed is also something that I care about, because this weapon is only restricted by its reload speed anyway. Like, if you have crazy reload speed with this, you're gonna be good to go. Obviously, I can increase how many reload speed, uh, yeah, I can increase how many ammo I have, but that is not really that useful. And at the end of the day, if I get the passive that I want, I will go down to minus 6666 ammo, so that won't matter either. Now, the most important part is to get a good book. If I get a book that doesn't give us things that I need, I will be really bad off. I hope she also gets choice for real rolling books. I hope her passive works on the books too. Uh, here we go, armed and ready. That gives us, for example, two ammo. Not that I need it, but I will lose it anyway. What I care about is the reload, so I'm gonna definitely take that. Or specifically the reload. And uh, me having one more bullet isn't really that bad either. As you see, uh, this weapon has a very high attack speed. I guess specifically for that purpose, in case you have too much ammo. I mean, this weapon in general is really good. It has a very high attack speed in case you gain a bunch of ammo. It has a pretty decent uh, cooldown on its own, like the reload speed isn't really that bad, honestly speaking. So we're just improving upon it. I'm trying to not move in case I gain more damage. Not in case, to gain more damage. There is no case happening, it's just the reality. <laughs> uh, okay, we found fresh clips, so 3% more damage after I reload, and also even faster reload, which is really good, obviously, as uh, I am always reloading. So that means literally plus 30% damage. And also it's one of the two I care about. So now the next one I care about is Funfair. So wait, is it Funfair or is my memory trash? It is actually Funfire. So yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, let's avoid. I don't want to get hit. I want to look up the passives now to see what Funfire actually is. So is it this one? Fun I literally instantly found it. Wow. When shooting your last ammo, also shoot 10 additional bullets in a circle that do 50% damage. Well, the fact that it's this is bad because this is going to add uh, reduce my damage by 10. Uh, but that isn't really that bad at the end of the day because, I mean, I, I get a second projectile and that second projectile means double damage. So I lose 10% damage, but I gain double damage of the rest of the damage that's there. So it's obviously really good. Oh, wait. Let's go on. I want to go down there and pick up all my XP. Nice, nice explosion. I like how I can just fight through the opponents, just shoot through them. And... Lit fire is not what I want, but plus one shot and behind us is good. This is really good. Kill clip. And splitter is also really good. Whatever dies explodes. Because I want this too. Bullet damage plus and piercing and bullets additionally pierce killed enemies. Yeah, all of these are good. This is also good. Less fire rate, but more bullet size and damage. Uh, let's begin with... Let's begin with splinter. Or spirit... I'm not gonna take this. 
Yeah, let's begin with Splinter. To have a bit more uh, AoE. I'm not sure if Splinter is as good as I hoped it would be, in general. Yeah, but it feels pretty decent. Feel, it feels it feels like it does what it's supposed to do, which is do damage. Do damage to opponents so that when I hit them with my snipe, they're gonna be dead. You know, in one shot. Avoid. I don't want to lose my shield for no reason. Uh, I don't find anything important here. Fire rate might be good, but I don't really need fire rate, so I would save this reroll. Okay, we got something reload related, so we're gonna take it. And the more I reload, the better. Nice. Let's go. 5% reload per kill is pretty decent. Now, uh, I did do a test run on this. Uh, the test run wasn't successful because I tried to do this with a dragon. But uh, I know one of the elite upgrades she gets, and I hope I gain that elite upgrade. Uh, here we go, fun fire, nice. So last crypt is gonna shoot around us. Oh, that's really good. Are you kidding me? This is insane. I don't even need to move anymore. Yeah, let's not even move. Because I gain damage boost if I don't move. Nope. Nothing almost hit us. We're <laughs> shooting the elite. Okay, the most important part is to gain the elite. As I said, the elite... Um, uh oh The elite buff. But you know what's more important than the elite buff? Gain a level and pick up the legendary upgrade that I want. The synergy upgrade, whatever it's called. Well, we didn't get it. Uh, we can go split fire to shoot behind us too. That's literally a free bullet. So let's go with this. It's literally free damage. And it's gonna be even more important later. I don't need to look into all my sides at the same time this way. We'll continue going for the XP. Maybe we're gonna get the legendary upgrade now. The mini clip! Okay, as long as the upgrades we gain are good, I don't need to use rerolls. But that's why the rerolls are there, right? To get exactly what you want. This is good, big shot, bit bu bullet damage, 35%. We lose fire rate, who cares about fire rate? Honestly, I just want to dis be death and destruction. What is this? Triple the effect of the next upgrade you take. Of the next upgrade, wow. Just wow. Oh, please God, oh, please dear God. Please, please, give me the meta progression. Give me the legendary upgrade right this moment. If I get the meta progression upgrade right this moment, 50% more damage, 100% more, 300% uh, more reload speed, 150% more damage, uh, 1,800 minus clip size, but who cares about that? Please, 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 meta progression upgrade, please, 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 please. Please, the god one is incoming, man, please. By the way, the, the, the elite upgrade I got the first time I run is 40% XP. No, we didn't get it. I can get a million. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, let's reroll, please, please, please. No, we didn't get it. But I found a huge magnet. <laughs> I found a huge magnet. Uh, I don't want to get bullets. I didn't get anything damage related. That's very sad. That's very, very sad. So now I got the huge magnet, or how does? The <laughs> I did actually get a huge magnet. Uh, very sad moment. Very sad moment. But that means that she has the highest skill damage possible. Like, imagine gaining exactly what I wanted. By the way, do I have the synergies? Fun, fun fire and fresh clip. Yeah, I definitely have them. Man, it would be so awesome. It would be so awesome. And here we are with the magnet. I don't know what dragon would be. Imagine gaining three dragons. I think I chose maybe the worst upgrade, but that's me, man. That's me. I love magnets. Just because it wasn't meta progression related, like just because it wasn't good, doesn't mean anything. We'll avoid. Uh, every XP pickup has a chance to refill ammo. I don't want that. But uh, maybe, yeah, this gives fire rate. Do I want that? Ah, uh, reroll. Here we go. If I could have had this, if I could have had that, 15% bullet damage and like infinite piercing almost. I mean, that is already infinite piercing. On kill, guaranteed pierce is what it normally does. I love this thing, by the way. I love the run we're having. I have to say, that upgrade is insane. Like, that... I, I did not know that she gets from elites that thing. That That's really good. Now I'm super happy about her. Like, she's extremely powerful. If you get that triple upgrade... Ima just imagine. Just imagine gaining the, the, the synergistic upgrade with the triple three times or in general gaining damage three times is 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 this why is this this why is this sideways let's see what we get come on useless bullet damage bullet bounce no 
No, everything is useless. Everything is useless. I don't want to go with bullet bounce. I don't want to lose damage. Yeah, everything is useless. Very disappointing run yet. Uh, I mean, the run is still going good, but uh, very disappointing in what we're gaining. Where is the upgrade we were searching for? Excuse me, please, game. Let's reroll. Uh, uh, are you kidding me right now? I guess movement speed and attack speed. At least the movement speed uh, has the, you know, the upgrade that says after 40 seconds you gain 40% reload speed and 40% movement speed. And general movement speed is really good in this game. Although obviously I should not be moving with the build I'm having. But uh, opponents are actually ranged too, so maybe I should be moving with the upgrades I'm having. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I'm powerful. Okay, time to go pick up the XP. At least I have a huge pickup range. <laughs> At least I have a huge pickup range. Maybe I should have gone with speed. But imagine gaining three times 100% movement speed. Like, there are so many upgrades that are insane. This reload and movement speed as long as you have the shield. Reload speed is still something that's really important to me. Hello? Oh, you know what else I want? Give me a second. I want this upgrade too, this one. Stand your ground. Siege and full C8. Okay, so I guess Siege and full C8 is important because this cuts movement speed, but there is no downside. Like, fire speed up and projectiles up, but no downside whatsoever. I mean, movement speed, less movement speed is a downside, yeah, but still, it's it's not a damage downgrade, that's what I mean. And damage downgrades are always the worst, if you do a damage build, that is. I really enjoy this all around. I would enjoy gaining the walk speed up. Here we go, here we go, mini clip. Let's go, harm reload. Where were you when I needed you, man? Where were you when I really needed you? Okay, now I have one bullet. Oh, look at this! Look at this! It's raining all the time. It's raining all the time. I love it. I love it. And the reload speed is gonna even improve further. The more I improve the move, the reload speed, the better off we are. Because, like, we're literally constricted by the, the reload speed. This is insane. Yeah, we got an insane build again. Although I still believe the previous one might have been better. But... This is really good. Yeah, maybe the previous one was not better, actually. We're gonna see, we're gonna see late game, we're gonna see late game. Uh, walk speed up, yep, that's... Ooh, no, 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 no. Go for one minute cooldown on this. Man, I'm... Now that I think about it, this character is the most min-max... Not min-maxy, high roly character. Like, literally, three times the upgrade. Do you know how many upgrades this game has that are unique, that are weird and are powerful? If you get them three times, they're busted. Like, e e she's even best at the summoner build. Like, imagine gaining three times the thing that says that uh, you gain 40% more summoning damage. 120% more damage damage, done. Or you get the 40% more attack speed. There was a uh, 50%. I think there was like a 50% more attack speed on someone's upgrade. You get that three times, boom. You instantly get 150% attack speed on your summons. It's, it's death incarnate. Or maybe you get like three spirits. You get three spirits instead of one, and then and then later you get the upgrade that says that spirit friends shoot three times, so you have like triple nine. Maybe I should have even gone with a triple dragon. Or imagine gaining the thing that says that the dragon gains 10% attack speed with eight damage per second, and you get that three times. Like all, all, all of those choices are insane. Um, I would say let's go pick up range again. Let's continue with this. I'm trying to maybe find weapons. Maybe find upgrades that I care about. Did I get the walking speed? I don't think I got the walking speed. So the, the elite upgrade I got in my previous run was that she gains 40%. Yes, 40% more XP. So I don't know if that means like 5 or 10 more levels. By the way, this is awesome. I love this thing. Look at this. Okay, uh, I would say walk speed. So once again, my plan is to go for Siege and Fusilade. Siege and Fusilade. And also these things. I'm ready, power shot and rapid fire. Siege and Fusilade. I'm gonna read through everything uh, weapon related in a moment. I think Fusilade is the one that says if I don't move I have a chance to not waste ammo. Something like that. <laughs> I love it, man. Everything goes around. It's raining. It's raining. I love it. I love it. I'm not sure how powerful it is, but it's awesome. It's awesome and simple. That's the fun part, that it's simple. It's simple. It's clean. It's a fun build. 
Okay, rapid fire here. A siege? I don't know where Fusilade is though. Let's read through these. Nope. Yeah, I mean, the, the siege is here, so we take uh, attack speed for sure. Although, obviously, more attack speed might not be that useful. But still, that upgrade... The, the upgrade that gives plus a bunch to everything also gives 10% cooldown, uh, re reload. What I want to get now is the passive that says, the movement speed based passive that says that if I don't get damaged, I... 10 seconds, I stack 10% reload in movement speed. And then if I gain 40% reload from there, it's gonna obviously increase my damage even further. Look at this, man. Look at this. Just look at this. Look at this madness. And the sound effect. I love it. I love it. Here we go. Gun mastery. I got it already. So is Fulcillate here, maybe? Assassin. I'm gonna also go for this. More piercing, more bullet damage, speed. Yeah, we're gonna go for take aim for sure, but for now we're gonna go gun mastery, as this gives us... Wait a minute. Light bullets. Siege, yeah, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna go for this. Uh, bullet damage, 50 percent Fire rate, reload rate. I only care about fire... Uh, the first three. The first three and the piercing. Yeah, it, uh, literally everything other than more ammo. Which more ammo I'm not... So this is a very good upgrade. 15% damage, 15% attack speed, 15% reload speed, and one piercing. Very, very good. Okay, these guys are very durable. But I have so much pushback that nothing should be even remotely able to come close to us. Yeah, this thing is really... <laughs> these things are really durable. But once again, my pushback plus my funfair all around. on fire, whatever it's called. Yeah, we're really powerful. Did I see bullets are right from the left? I don't even know. If I don't move, how much damage do I do? Ah, oh, that's it. 59 instead of 50? Wow. Wow, just wow. So 20% damage boost. If you don't move. Not even 20. <laughs> 9. Uh, I guess 19 or 15% damage boost. I mean, not 15. 15 would be less. But 20% of 50 is 10. And this brings me up to 59. So the, my assumption is that some kind of percentage-based... Um, yeah, we don't do 20 damage. We don't do 50 damage. We do something like 49.6 or something like that. And uh, that thing gets multiplied by the 20% damage boost if I don't move. That's why I do 59 if I don't move. That's my assumption. Because this game has a bunch of percentage-based stuff. By the way, as you see, I'm not killing anything. But uh, I'm also not in any danger whatsoever. So now the plan is to kill this thing. Obviously have my random bullets going around and destroying everything. So uh, we are in no danger whatsoever in getting surrounded. Or are we? Or are we in danger? Well, let's not forget that I'm shooting backwards too, so... It's not like we're actually in danger. I want to kill this elite. Hopefully I'm gonna gain the 40% XP boost. Please don't come close to me, guys. Close to me. Ah, slowly defeating this. You know what I, I per, you know what the passive is that's 100 percent needed on every single build? The frost and the frost percentage damage. Because that's literally 1% damage on a boss every hit. You freeze them, they lose 1%. You freeze them, they lose 1%. Because now I have no idea how much percentage-wise I'm doing. Maybe this boss has like 50,000 HP, and I'm just doing like 0.1% of its life every shot. So it's it's uh yeah, it, it will take a while to get these guys. In general, it feels like a bunch of things are a bit too doable in this game. Or maybe it's the build. Or maybe it's the build. But I think all the builds have the same problem. I guess I guess it's the problem with all these games with ascension levels. That at some point, you will need to only pick up the best builds possible. Right? For example, if the summoning build is trash, then at uh, ascension level 10, or I guess this game calls it darkness, at darkness level 10, I don't think I will play summoner build, you know? Uh, and that's maybe also the problem. Like, you get repetitive through the fact that people don't want to pick up non-meta builds. Let's see what we go with. Here we go. Increase XP by 40%. So, maybe this is gonna give us, like, five more levels. Instead of, you know, instead of three more levels, we gain five more levels with this. Although I don't think we're gonna only gain three more levels from 21. We should get to at least, at least, level 30. If we don't get to level 30, then this build is worse than yesterday's. And I mean, there is no chance whatsoever that this build is not worse than yesterday's. <laughs> like, yesterday's was a god build. I mean, I say yesterday's, but there is a chance I'm not gonna play this back-to-back. -back. There is a chance I'm gonna play Sword and Sandals in between. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm doing with my scheduling. Uh, when I say play, I mean upload, because uh, the, the Sword and Sandals build is, run is already done. I have it on the channel, and now I'm thinking about uploading. Anyway, it, it's really relevant right now. 
By the way, I th it feels like I'm the only one that's talking about other games while playing uh, games. Like, I I'm talking about the channel as a whole very often. You know, tomorrow I upload this, today I upload this, I don't know when I upload this. You know, rela stuff related to YouTube itself and not actually with gameplay. I'm not sure if a lot of people do that. Ah, let's continue. Actually, not even YouTube itself. I think a lot of people talk about YouTube itself. I'm, I'm talking about the channel itself, like channel rate and stuff. By the way, I'm not killing anything. <laughs> My pushback is through the roof, but I'm not killing anything. I need the frosting, man. The frosting is... You need the frosting. If you don't have 50%, 25% damage per hit on these things... Yeah, I need to go frost build, man. I need to go frost build, guaranteed. This is not enough damage. I'm not sure where I made the mistake. Maybe there was never a chance to do enough damage anyway. Yeah, maybe maybe there was never a chance to do as much damage as I thought I was able con I was gonna be able to do. Yep. I need more small opponents. Although the problem is that even small opponents are gonna have so much life now. And as you see, I'm chasing down single opponents or at least masses. I'm pushing these guys in. Come on, give me XP, thank you. XP here, XP there. Man, I'm getting so little XP. Oh, we found a lead. Laser. With the lasers. Okay, if this guy maybe gives us a good curse, then there is chance. Do I damage him? What are the damage numbers? Uh, excuse me. Why do you not lose life? Uh, no joke. Why is this guy not losing life? Or did they do that on purpose like this? Maybe he loses life if you kill something. Is there any chance that that's the case? I don't think that's the case. By the way, I just realized that you can easily see from where he's shooting. Yeah, so this side is the most defensive one. Or this side, for that matter. I'm not even sure if we're ever gonna beat this guy. <laughs> yep, the, the lack of freeze is a really bad thing. I, I like how I got the 40% more XP boost and I was like... Yes, you heard it right. 30% more XP boost. Well, guess what? how much 40% of zero is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, I haven't gotten XP this last hour. <laughs> last five minutes, I haven't leveled up. What can I say? I made a mistake somewhere along the line of not picking up the freeze does percentage-based damage. I think freeze does percentage-based damage. Now that I realize it, now that I'm playing this, now that I realize this, I think freeze percentage-based damage is 100% must in every single build. That's what it feels like. That's really what it feels like. And uh, also I'm getting super surrounded. I'm getting getting super duper surrounded. You know what? Let's get away from the trees. I get away from the trees. We should be fine. Yeah, here we're pretty good. Oh, wait. Well, the good thing is that the, pla the, the main thing that you have to do in this game is to just survive. So it doesn't matter if I don't kill anything. As long as I don't die. And I still have my shield. Which has, by the way, a 45 second cooldown. And then I also have my three lives. So I don't think we're going to be dying anytime soon. If I lose the shield, then yeah, then, then we can discuss about panicking. About, uh, you know, panic, panic, panic. But no, we're, we're pretty still pretty chill. I haven't gotten a kill in maybe the last hour. If I get the level, yeah. Um, fire rate and max ammo. And I don't even know what to go with. Siege. Fusillade, this is gonna do less damage. Bullet speed spread. I mean, I do care about this, but whatever, man. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, now both my bullets are literally. Yeah, both my bullets are in one line. I don't know if it's visible, but uh, because of the less spread, now both my bullets are literally combined. I want to get a kill on this guy. I want to get a kill on both guys, because first of all, I want to see her last passive. And secondly, I want to maybe get a bit more lucky with... Uh, maybe a bit more lucky with um, the, the poem, whatever it's called. By the way, this guy spins a bit faster. Oh, panic, 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 panic. <laughs> I'm kidding. We are at the 2-minute mark, so that means I will get another chance. No, come on. How fast is this thing shooting its laser? Okay, it seems like I need to be in its dead zone before it even decides to target. Okay, we gotta keep that in mind now. So this might... And anyway, I got our shield back. Nice. Okay, we're safe again. 
I have one more minute to go through, and this guy does not seem to be dying anytime soon. Come on, one of the two. Come on. Either give me a new book. Okay, mo mostly I care about the elite in the back. I don't care about the boss itself. Because the boss is just gonna give me a book that might be useful or not. But the, the elite behind is gonna give me my character passive, and I want to know what my third character passive is. Because I already knew about the... I already knew about the duration thing. What duration thing am I talking about? Here XP. There is a bunch of XP over there. Give me a sec to go over here. Okay, that XP is not enough. I mean, I said a bunch, but a bunch is not uh, infinite. Stand away from me. Come on. I'm going closer so that maybe the... Maybe the spread around shots hit it a bit more often. Although they don't even do that much damage. They do like 9. I have to say... I've been told that this is supposed to be the most broken build in the game. Well, I guess it needs Freeze and Flame, right? Because without Freeze and Flame, this is nothing. So at the end of the day, it's not this build that's good. It's Freeze and Flame that's good. As the previous build actually showcased. And the joke was that they they told me about this broken build literally one time, one run before I did the, my broken build. And I honestly, I think my broken build is better. Still, uh, I, I, I still believe that I did not min-max this build good enough. Okay, I do realize that. I do realize that maybe I needed flames. Man, this thing is not losing life. Let's go for this. Forget that boss. Forget that boss. I don't even care about that boss. I care about this passive a lot more. Come on, go. I want to see this passive. Forget that stupid laser boss. Imagine if it hits me from wherever it is right now. Come on, go, my boy. Come on. Come on. Give me what I want to see. You die and I get it. Come on. Do you explode at the end? No, it doesn't explode. Are you kidding me? No, we were never able to see my last passive. <laughs> but I have to say, the, the pushback on this build was good. Uh, I could have literally done the same build with a shotgun, though, and then everything around us would be like boom, 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 you know, and it would just push them back or whatnot. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Only 6,000 coinage upgrade picked up. I don't know. I enjoyed the run. I Don't get me wrong. The run was awesome, but uh, not the most powerful run, I would say. Bosses have more HP. What was the previous one? Elites have more HP. What do you mean, boss have more HP? Okay, in general, whatever I'm gonna run with next, definitely important thing. I might run with, again with Shana, but doesn't matter. The most important thing is that we go for Frost. The 25% damage on Frost on uh, non-elite bosses and the 1% damage on elite bosses. Because no matter how you slice it, that boss would have been dead with 1% damage per second. Anyway, these... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep the 20 minutes and on short. Maybe I'm gonna make these the fourth video of the day. Maybe I'm gonna start having four videos per day. So 20 minutes still on would be a good uh, you know attempt on that so yeah i think i'm gonna let us uh, let this this just exist here and uh yeah maybe you're gonna see a fourth video today i don't know I i'm gonna see i'm gonna see i'm trying to get my schedule in order and all that suggests anyway that's going to be it for today so if you enjoyed the video drop a like upside the channel a lot with algorithm and stuff and if you want to um yeah actually that's it pretty much and thanks for the patreon membership supporters and thanks for everybody supporting in general and thanks for watching and thanks for being here <laughs> and see you guys around